All right, welcome back. This is the John Roberts Gaming Channel, and this is Lee versus John Roberts. So I'm gonna ask you to show this channel a little support and like, share, and subscribe. Do all those wonderful things that you do. And as always, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy. All right, Soviet Union, round five of 22 IPC. Six infantry and one artillery. All right, let's push them back. Use this artillery. Two fighters. Let's do that like that. 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Okay. That all looks good. So may the dice gods be with us. Okay, so that worked out. Uh, the reason I wanted to take Ukraine was so that he doesn't have any land units next to Caucasus. The reason being, I want to be able to have units in Caucasus and in Russia in case he has plans to try and stack Archangel or try to stack uh, Kazakh again or try to stack Ukraine. It helps to make these dead zones. Alright, the fighters definitely go back into West Russia. These three infantry the West Russia, these two infantry into West Russia. He can not come with these fighters, so we could put four here if he wants to bring one infantry and two bombers on four infantry. I guess that's fine. I'm going to take one of these and put them there to make it that much more risky for him. Um, the calculator says this is about a 90% chance to hold. Okay, okay, okay. That looks good. We will put the artillery in Russia. I consider Caucus to be slightly risky right now. Looks good. Let's see what Germany has in store for us. UK round five. Let's take a look at what uh, Germany did. 13 infantry to artillery. Okay, took South Africa. Uh, Kazakh. And Archangel, France, Northwest Europe. Okay, moved some units around. Persia, five fighters to Germany. All right, UK, let's take a look here. So I want to buy a fighter. A tank for India. We'll get six infantry. looks good we'll take these units here on the UK I'll just send everything into France we'll attack Burma out of India use the bomber and the fighter all right may the dice gods be with us
Okay, non-combat moves. Aircraft back in India. Put these British infantry with these American infantry. Send one fighter to West Russia. Land the other fighter on the aircraft carrier. Let's move these guys up to C Zone 12. Okay. Mobilization. Tank in India. Fighter in C Zone 8. Two more infantry in India. The rest in the UK. Well, let's see what Japan has in store for us. US round five. Let's see what Japan did. Seven infantry, three artilleries, one tank. Took a Venki. Burma didn't lose any units again. We kind of have to take Burma or else we won't be able to hold India. Let's see, he's got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. But if we eliminate these, that's giving him 15, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yunnan, 2 infantry to Sinkiang, 3 infantry to Anwei, 4 fighters. C-Zone 61. Where did he place his units? Three infantry in Manchuria, four infantry, one tank, and three artillery on Japan. I find it interesting that he's putting infantry out of Manchuria and tanks out of Japan. So yes, USA has one, two, three, four, five, eleven transports. So I don't think we're going to be purchasing any more transports. What we are going to purchase is ten infantry and one fighter. Now we'll upgrade one of the infantry. That looks good. One of you and one of you. We'll go to 13. I think we'll be fine in 13. Oh, you know what? This is a mistake. I don't want to use these units to go to C zone 13. No, no, no. I want to use these. Right. And then this transport with these two, I want to get this one. Northwest Europe, we have two fighters that can go one, two. So that's what they will do. Okay, may the dice gods be with us. Okay, uh, two fighters back to season three. These six infantry. Finland. Alright, two more transports back up to ten. Two transports need to come back. Let's defend C Zone 13. He can bring two bombers, and I have three. Bring this destroyer down here to be sure. I think this is safe right here. And even if he were to assault C Zone 8, I think his losses would be pretty great. Double and triple check. Everything looks good. Alright, a fighter out of Eastern USA. Along with 10 land units. Let's send it over to Soviet Union. Alright, Soviet round 6. We'll buy whatever land we can. Do we want to buy artillery at this point? 
Yes, we do. We still want to buy artillery. So I should have counted this up before the US turn. Let's see, 17, 18, 19, 20, 30, 36, 37, 38, 39, 44. So 44, let's see, we got 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. All right, well, we definitely need to take Archangel. That goes without saying. I think we can afford one artillery with one of these infantry. Send these two fighters up to Archangel. Okay, so after running the calculator, I'm not gonna do this. It's not worth one infantry. There's nothing that it's really blocking. It's just this one infantry that can hit Soviet Union. I do have to watch. He's got, well, he's only got one aircraft. One, two, one, two. He's got three aircraft. All right, so that'll be fine. That'll be fine. So that's the way we will play it. May the dice gods be with us. Breathe a sigh of relief there, jeez. That was kind of hectic. All right, the two fighters back in West Russia. Four infantry, one anti-aircraft. That looks good. All right, all the artillery into Russia and all the infantry into Russia. Let's see what Germany has in store for us. UK, round six. What did Germany do? 13 infantry, one tank, one artillery. Okay, Belgian Congo focuses. Archangel took France, no units lost, unfortunate. Lost an infantry in Northwest Europe. Five fighters to Germany. There's Anglo Egypt. Two infantry to Egypt. One bomber to Poland. One fighter, six infantry, Karelia. One bomber to Poland. Five infantry, Baltic. Okay, three infantry out of Italy. One tank, one artillery out of Karelia, ten infantry out of Germany. So things are looking tough all over. Let's see here. He has a pretty decent lead, 52 points. And in production, I can not compete. Germany outproduces US, Japan outproduces UK. Right, if I get a transport, what does he have with the aircraft? Five fighters, one bomber, and this one fighter if I don't eliminate these landing points. Hmm. So if I get a transport, that's fine, that's fine. I want the transport. I can't produce enough for it, but I want the transport. Okay, let's do it. See about taking France. I have less land units than he does, but... I have a lot more firepower, so let's let's go for it. Might as well. This is a tough one. Hmm. We really need to take Burma, otherwise we cannot hold India. Let's recount this. 22, 23, 30, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 52, 32, 34, 38, 39, 44, 45, 46, 47. We basically need everybody in West Russia to hold it. May the dice gods be with us.
Well, a bit of luck in France. That was taken pretty easily. And in Burma, I wish I had not brought that extra infantry. Alright, might as well bring this cruiser and transport from 12 up to 8. I have my sub lurking. That's the double and triple check. Alright, new transport. New artillery. Three infantry. And three infantry. Let's see what Japan's got in store for us. USA round six. Let's see what Japan did. Eight infantry, two tanks, one artillery. Took Falagda. Novosibirsk. And Burma took out three infantry and lost one. It looks like he stacked Burma too. So that's a lot of fun. Alright, one infantry to Kazakh, three infantry to Xinjiang, one infantry to Archangel, three infantry to Anwei, one anti aircraft to Burma, aircraft to Yunnan, mobilize three infantry in Manchuria, and land units in Japan. And it looks like Lee has made a mistake that we've seen me make before. Eight of these units were supposed to be here, and he forgot. I guess we'll consider that lucky for us. So the United States, that looks good. Ten infantry, one artillery, one fighter. Take Algeria. That appears to be everything. But we need to make sure that Moscow is safe. He's got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so no combat. Okay, let's make sure we ball up these units, give them the best chance they got. Okay, you go back to Season 10, these units obviously. Up to Finland, these two fighters, right in there, with these three infantry, uh, sorry, these three artillery. Make sure we replace it with this one fighter, bring these transports back down. These units all up into Canada for transport. Next round, put these into eight. There's another transport to bring back, don't forget. Okay. Let's mobilize some units. Fighter in Eastern, artillery in Eastern, 10 infantry in Eastern. Let's send it over to Soviet Union. Soviet Union, round seven, six infantry. You can come in with ten. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do something ballsy. I'm gonna tempt fate. Let's put the three artillery into West Russia. One fighter and one AA gun. Mobilize all our units out of Russia, making both Russia and West Russia about a 75% chance. Let's see what Germany has in store for us. United Kingdom, round seven. What did Germany do? Germany purchased 11 infantry, 2 tanks, and 2 artillery. That's quite a bit. Because they have Africa, that's why they're able to afford quite a bit. Non-combat moves, Egypt. A bomber to Poland, 5 fighters in Germany. 7 infantry to Karelia. 1 infantry to Belarusia. 
one infantry to Ukraine, one infantry to Caucasus, one infantry to Persia, ten to Baltic states, and one infantry to Transjordan. Okay, mobilize these units, two artillery in Karelia, two tanks, eight infantry, and then three infantry in Italy. So the United Kingdom, I'm pretty sure we are going to abandon India. Do I even put anything in India when I abandon it? That's the question. Let's see, eight infantry. We could do something like this. He has so many forces here that I... I Leaving anything behind would be just as much of a waste as putting something out here. I could put an infantry here, and then, like, leave an infantry. I'm not gonna leave a fighter or any of these tanks. I don't think I want to leave the AA gun, either. Hmm. It may seem like a little waste. I don't want to just hand him India. Okay. Absolute overkill. back France again. That is everything. May the dice gods be with us. France was getting a little dicey there, huh? But we got the territory, we got Persia, of course. All the aircraft into West Russia. Get the any air out of here too. This submarine is alright where it is. Double and triple check that we're good. Alright, two artillery. Looks like we're only putting one infantry, I forgot to leave one behind, but that's fine, it really doesn't matter. Let's see what Japan has in store for us. USA round 7. What happened with Japan? Japan bought three infantry, two destroyers, two transports. Took India. No units lost in battle. Let's see. One infantry to Szechuan. Units to Xinjiang. Anti aircraft. Three infantry to Anhui. Move this fleet to 35. Transport units to uh, Yunnan. Mobilize three in Manchuria. Two transports and two destroyers. Season 60. Okay, so we have to try to hold West Russia and Russia. So what's here is good defense, but we need... He can come in with 60, and the US can get one more unit in here. So we need eight units. That's not going to cut it. What if we want to take all three of these? Okay, so they cannot hold these two. I think I'm going to try something that's might be crazy, it might be genius, I don't know, I think we will find out. I'm going to send everything I have at Karelia in an attempt to reduce his infantry, giving me numbers where I could hold both of these regions. Because the problem is the Japanese have six aircraft and four land units, so theoretically he could make an attack with a lot of firepower, he'd have to lose fighters and and the bomber likely but he could theoretically take russia if i don't have it defended properly and i need to reinforce this to take it i need 60 units in here and i only have 53 and i can only produce three units with the soviets so we'll see how this works it's the only way i can think of to use this u.s firepower that is sitting right here we have to risk 
any aircraft, but let's go for it. Uh, okay, so land units. And we'll get a fighter. Alright, that looks good. So let's go for it. Take Algeria, because it's there and we can take it. Okay, may the dice gods be with us. And plausible, we know that. Just don't shoot down any of my fighters, please. So we took out six of his units. So we said we needed 60 units. Now we need 55. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 40, 41, 42, 45, 52, 53. So we need two of these. And it is USA's turn. I'm wondering why I can't move my Soviet Union <laughs> units. Okay. We are not ready to continue. What am I doing? That would be disastrous. Let's bring those three transports back. Fill up as much as we can here. And land them here. The fighter from Eastern USA will put in C-Zone 3. I'm gonna put a destroyer up there, just one. I calculated it if I put two of these infantry into West Russia from Russia. This will be an 80% chance of holding. That is not bad at all. And then if I produce three more infantry into Russia, this will be a 90% chance of holding. So I will take those. Okay. I double checked. I don't think I triple checked. So we'll make it a double and triple check. We almost forgot about these units and that would have been a disaster. I need to stop making mistakes. At least this time I caught myself. That is everyone. Okay. Fighter and infantry out of Eastern USA. Let's send it over to Soviet Union. So in the words of our buddy Roach Warrior over at DZMC Gaming Channel, we'll call that an episode. But please remember to come back for the next episode of Lee vs. John Roberts. And if you're enjoying this video, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and do all those wonderful things that you do. And as always, thank you for watching.